while we're waiting for the battery to charge up, I'm going to move this out of the way and make a simple little boat, a little electric powered boat out of one of these styrofoam cups. Shift this lot. That's on the floor, so I'll try and remember not to step on it. I'm just going to cut one of these cups up. In fact, I've already done it. Just cut the back off at a bit of an angle. That's going to be my boat. And for the motor, I'm going to use one of those out of the vibrating toothbrushes. I've got quite a few videos that show you how to do this. Got a AAA battery in there. As you can hear, this one's actually working. It was briefly. Yeah, there we go. Give this a good pull comes out all in one go. That's our motor which we need to desolder. Just desolder the wires either side. Get this metal weight off the end of it because that's the bit that makes it vibrate and we don't want that. And then I'll put a little propeller on there. Mount it in the bottom of the boat and provide some battery of some sort to power it. Desolder this. You could just try pulling the wires off, but the chances are you'll actually pull them out of the back of the motor. And there's no way of replacing them if you pull them out the back of the motor. So desoldering or cutting is the best option. I desolder them because that gives me the maximum length of wire. I'm still going to have to extend them but at least you've got that much wire to work with. If you cut them you've got even less. Now we need to get that weight off the end of the motor. That's the bit that makes it vibrate normally and we don't need that. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but it's actually pinned in place. They've put it on the shaft and they've hit it with something. There's a little indentation there to actually hold it onto the shaft. Uh, there's lots of ways you could try and get it off, but generally whatever you do ends up pulling the shaft straight out the motor. So what I try and do is tap the shaft through. So I've got this piece of wood with a hole in it that's bigger than the motor. I've got one of these hobby blades or hobby knives that holds the weight in place. And then we'll try and tap it through. I've got the, I can't even pick it up with my fingers. I've got a pin that I've cut the end off so it's a bit shorter. Put that in the hole and try and tap it through. Hmm. Failure. Oh no, not a failure. <laughs> it's tapped the motor loose but at the same time bent the pin. So there we are. Motor's free and we got a little weight which we don't need for anything so we can throw that away. So there's our electric motor. 
I need to make a little propeller to go on it. And I'm not going to worry about it getting wet. I'm going to poke a little hole through the back here so it can stick straight out the bottom. In fact, I may just glue it straight underneath, thinking about it. Yeah, I'll glue it straight underneath. But I'll make a tiny propeller to go on it. For the propeller, I'm just going to cut a piece of aluminium out of this drinks can. I suppose we could make it into a nice little um, three-bladed propeller, or I could just make a simple two-bladed propeller. I don't think it'll make a lot of difference. We don't need it to go very fast or very far. And we certainly don't need it to be very big. Probably not going to be visible. Just twist that a little bit, maybe the light will catch it. It's just ordinary bisecting the circle. That might help, you can see it now. So I'll cut that out stick it on the end of the motor. That's our three-bladed propeller. I'm not quite sure which way it needs to twist at the moment until we connect up the electric motor. I'll just turn it so you can see the general idea. You really want it to be a tight fit on there. You can add a bit of glue afterwards. But I'll add a bit of hot glue to that to hold it in place. There we are. Got the propeller on the motor. Motor just hot glued to the bottom of the boat. The wires I've poked straight through. And I've got a single AA battery here. And to make the connection, I've actually soldered the wires onto the ends of some broken neodymium magnets. Because that particular battery has obviously got ferrous connectors on it, so the neodymium magnets connect onto it with no trouble at all. I've also added a rudder on the back. It's just a piece of that same drinks can, so we can actually bend it to give us some steering. Let's try our little electric boat on the boating lake otherwise known as my bath. I'll put the rudder over at a bit of an angle, try and get it to go round a bit of a circle. That uh, works fine. A lot quieter in the water as well.
It's got to be one of the simplest boats I've made. I could even do the summary while it's still going around. We've got a hull cut from a styrofoam cup. The electric motor comes out of a vibrating toothbrush. In this case, an Oral-B vibrating toothbrush. The propeller and the rudder are just cut from an aluminium drinks can. We've got a single AA battery in there. And to make the connection on the battery, I've soldered some wires onto a broken neodymium magnet. And those are actually attracted to the terminals on the battery. So there we go. Job done.